Ink is like love. If you can't own it, you can't possess it. You have to give yourself up to the ink. Art is the first lens between you and the world. In this class, paint gets thrown by mistake and on purpose. Your sketchbook is like a vacuum. Your eyes are incredibly savage organs. Nice clothes get in the way of freedom and instinctual movement. You give your art to the world to look at. Should I keep reading? You should be competing with dead and living painters. Being an artist, like right now, right here today, you're still in conversation with artists of all different time periods, and of course, artists that you don't know at all. But I think that kind of sense of feeling like you're in conversation with artists of all time periods, it creates an accessibility to ideas and to work. It's all available. There's no way to get it right. What you have to do is get it wrong in the right way. I can't think of one great painting that isn't terribly flawed, and in its flaw, it's human. Its greatness comes from the flaw. Maddie's project speaks to the faculty here and the relationship that they have to students that feels both personal and a guiding process. At BU, I was kind of encouraged just to find my own voice and use what I learned as a jumping off point. Lately, I've revisited these quotes that I put together and really regaining the importance of their words and implementing them into my paintings that now have my own voice in them. <laughs>